brain. A little bit about Lewy body dementia. I have made a bold statement that Lewy body dementia is not a disease of the brain. What this means is that the disease affects the brain, but the primary pathology exists outside the brain. The most famous example of a condition that does this could be Whipple's disease, where there's an infection by a bacteria in the gastrointestinal tract, which eventually can cause dementia in some people. Lewy body dementia, I have found from my recent research, does not seem to be any different. Here is why I have said that very bold statement. Lewy body dementia is characterized by the accumulation of Lewy bodies inside neurons within the central nervous system. Now, Lewy bodies are a collection of a specific protein, alpha-synuclein, and this is where it is different from Alzheimer's dementia, which is accumulations of amyloid and tau proteins. Some are inside and some are outside the cells, but in Lewy body dementia, these collections of abnormal proteins are inside the cell. So, what we find most interestingly is that Lewy body dementia starts in two locations of the brain at the same time. The olfactory bulb, that's the nose, and the brain stem or the medulla. Now, why would that be? The pathology starts there and then spreads through the brain. Yet Lewy body is not an infection. So why does it spread? This is where the interesting information comes from the research. When we look at the protein alpha-synuclein, it is a normal part of the function of neurons. It helps to stabilize synaptic vesicles, which are little aggregations of, uh, of, of neurotransmitters within the synaptic cleft, which allows neurons to send information to one another. It functions to stabilize these vesicles. So why would this protein suddenly start to become abnormal? And this is what we have found, is that instead of it being in its normal function, it becomes a little bit misfolded and then becomes insoluble. The neuron then has to package it up all the way at the synaptic end and then trans transport it back along that long cable, which is an axon, to the center of the cell body, which is in the brain. That's where we then have these accumulations of Lewy bodies. But in reality, the alpha-synuclein is affected by a specific enzyme at its terminal end by the synapses. This enzyme causes it to become an abnormal shape and then does not allow it to function. When the Lewy bodies accumulate in the center, in the brainstem and in the olfactory bulb, after a while, the neuron has to protect itself. And therefore what it does is it that shares the workload. So it spreads it from one neuron to the other. So it's not really an infection. The brain is just protecting the neuron and spreading the workload. This is really the important principle because what it means is that the primary pathology for Lewy body is at the synaptic end, which is outside the brain. It has to be transported in the brain because if these abnormal proteins were put out in the synapses, it would cause inflammation and damage it. So the brain's way of dealing with it is to take it back and to try and see if it can discard it on its own. The problem is, is that they continue to accumulate and the brain does not have the opportunity to resolve this area or this problem over time. This is why I said Lewy body is not a disease of the brain. It involves the brain, but primarily the disease exists outside the brain. Why would it involve the olfactory area, the nose, and the brain stem at the same time? Where are these two locations connected? The only connection is in the oral and nasal cavity. 
because the nerves that supply the throat as well as the posterior part of the tongue, the glossopharyngeal nerve, is also in close proximity to the nasal cavity where the olfactory bulb is. Is this connected to our diet, what we eat? It would not be surprising because a lot of the alpha-synuclein is also accumulated in our bowels, in that nervous system that controls bowel movement. And what we have found is that patients who have al -Am Lewy body dementia, oftentimes they also have bowel symptoms that predate the disease. This is very important because if Lewy body is a disease outside the brain, it means we have a chance to impact on it. If we can figure out what is the trigger in the first place. This is to give us hope and to help us to understand a little bit more, not just about Lewy body dementia, but about all dementias. If we understand how we can impact on this disease, it gives us a chance to impact on many others. I hope this was interesting and of value to you. Please keep on listening. I've got lots more information.